Hello dear Pisces, welcome to Divine Debut, this is Kathy speaking. This is your mid-month of September general and love reading. Thank you so much for being here, hope that you're all doing well. Thank you for your patience as well. Today I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross spread, which I will be extending on my website through a link that will be in the description box below. That is such a tongue twister. And if this story resonates for you, you could uh, retrieve more information as I take a lot of cards there. So let's have a look and see what's going on. Dear Pisces, there is a new moon that we had yesterday. So today is the 18th actually of September. There is a new moon that happened in your house of partnerships, which was a magical new moon. So... I hope that you've made your wish. As soon as you receive this reading, make a wish. As soon as you can see that new moon in the sky, send your wishes out to the divine and you may just materialize those wishes. Okay, let's see what's going on, Pisces. What's going on for you in general and love? This is general and love for Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. In the now, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. So those of you that are single, you are happy, you've got all the abundance around you that you need. Partnership is what you're looking for. What is your challenge? Wow. Five of Swords. I, f I feel that you are self-sabotaging yourself. You are good enough for anything that you focus on, Pisces. If this is a relationship that you are connected to where there is you could be interested in someone that's already taken, for instance, with the Five of Swords or it's just your head, you know, thinking that I'm not good enough. This is that self-worth, uh, those self-worth emotions or negativity that you're carrying around. Uh, and what I feel I need to say to you is that you may be dealing with someone that's quite intelligent and you may feel a little bit restricted there in that area thinking that you're maybe not on their level, um, but it doesn't matter. Um, everyone has got their uh, positive and their negatives. No one is perfect. We're perfect as we are. Remember that. Let's see what else this is about. At your foundation is the King of Swords. Exactly what I was saying. Some of you may be interested in an Aquarius Gemini or a Libra. This could be someone that is in the legal field, could be a solicitor, okay, that uh, you're dealing with. And this could also be, for others of you, this could be you um, trying to let go of an air sign, someone that may have been quite harsh with their words, quite cutting with their words, quite um, someone that would always put you down, which do, does not do any good for your self-worth. For your self-esteem let's see recent past we've got the four of cups four of cups which is an offer that's not accepted i'm not ready to accept this offer this could be something that you've been going in a circle doing over and over again that's what i get from this four as fours always speak of home and family something long term something that is more committed to me and this ace of cups is right in your face at this time uh, let's see what else we've got. On your mind is the Ten of Cups. You want happy family bliss. That's what you want. That's what you're after. You want happiness on all levels. And you know the Four of Cups could also be King of Swords trying to come back, trying to come back into your life, and you're conflicted whether you will let them in or not. doesn't have to be an air sign. This is the way they're coming across. Now, Ten of Cups can mean you're happy on all levels. Doesn't I don't really see that here. That's why you're here watching this reading. What I see is that this is the ending of a cycle, a long-term cycle, or you want something long-term that will bring you happiness on all levels, which you did not have. Because the King of Swords is not someone that is open to emotion. They're very calculated, more let's do business than let's make love. So let's see what the near future is. We've got the hanging man. So a lot to do with 
this um, new moon in Virgo and the full moon in Pisces, which obviously brings in an mm -hmm. ending, that happened in early September. Um, but there's still a sense of sacrifice that needs to happen. A cycle is trying to close up for you. Remember that the house of Pisces is a karmic ending. It is um, you trying to see, trying to be enlightened and trying to understand what you need to do to get yourself out of this position. Okay, as this is a card of sacrifice and Pisces, that's that's you. You are all about giving unconditionally. But is are they worth it? Are they worth it is the question. Let's see what's in the position of you. We've got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords uh, can be you spying on the internet. Uh, remember that this is Gemini energy. Gemini is all about the knowledge. It's the student. It's having learned a lesson. This could be a child that you share with this King of Swords. Um, what you're needing is truth. What you're needing is communication. And you're, you could be waiting on a message to see how long you're going to have to be sort of stuck and not being able to move. Let's see what's around you, what's surrounding you. And we've got the devil. Wow. Wow. So this is Capricorn energy. This is limitations. This is restrictions. This is addictions. This could also mean anything to do with the law. Capricorn is what is the law. It's things that have to be done by the book. It's the red tape. It's governmental institutions. It's karma. It's karma, heavy karma. And it's also not healthy. There is an unhealthy situation here that you've got yourself in. Pisces, you are all about, Pisces is the house of escapism. So I hope that you're not finding strength through other means, too much drinking, too much going out, having fun. I mean, you know, the devil can mean can mean any sort of addictions, could also mean very sexual, a sexual connection. If you are dealing with someone that's only there for the sexual side of things or, you know, someone who wants, who needs you intimately um, and they're not showing emotions, you're different. So let's let's see what else is going on. What's happening in the hopes and fears? We've got the page of pentacles and we've got two pages here. So there's fresh energy. Yes, the ace of pent, uh, sorry, the page of pentacles is holding that ace. You are hoping for a message of, I want something long term with you. I want to marry you. I want to take this to the next level. But I don't see that happening. I think that this is a hope of yours. Let's see what the outcome is, first of all. And we've got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands is someone that comes along with a lot of power. I don't know why, but I, I have a feeling that this is not you. Um, Queen of Wands is someone that takes action. You're very different, dear Pisces. Unless you've got heavy uh, fire in your chart, then this is not you. Um, Queen of Wands could be another person that this King of Swords is dealing with. Remember, for me, air and fire go together. They're quite matched. Whereas you are water, you're more matched towards earth. Let's see what is at the bottom of the deck. And we've got the Three of Wands. Now, usually in this deck, because I see the ships come in, um, the ships come in, which usually this is someone that's waiting at the dock. What I see, though, in, in your situation is that there's a point of someone's turned their back. Someone's made a decision and turned their back on the expansion of this connection. And they're taking their wand and running with it. And this is the general energy. Now, it's either you having strong fire in your chart or this King of Swords is someone that has got a deep desire to move on. Remember that this King of Swords does not show his emotions, does not show his emotions. Logically, 
Um, yes, he is very logic, usually, if he's in the upright. Now, I'm not reading reversals. Logically, this could be someone that had, that is hiding this side to them. And this could be an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Remember that both Capricorn and Aquarius are ruled by Saturn. So you may be dealing with someone that has got uh, a toxic toxic notion, a toxic need uh, where you are concerned. So I don't know if your sacrifices will pay off. I do feel that Queen of Wands is someone else that's more matched to this King of Swords. Remember that the challenge is the Five of Swords. It usually shows three people. What's beneath the Three of Wands? And we've got the Two of Pentacles. Yes, this card has shown up for all the signs. Someone is doing a juggling act, so you may not be the only one in the picture here. I smell a rat, dear Pisces. I smell a rat. Let's have a look. What's going on in the Wisdom of the Oracle? What's the message for Pisces, please, Spirit? Mid-September. What is the message for Pisces? Pisces, I truly feel that with the new moon happening in Virgo, um, there could be a magical soulmate connection coming through for you. Okay. I feel as though you're still in a toxic, unhealthy, limiting connection which is stopping a soulmate coming through for you. Let's take your card. I feel that this is it. Thank you, Spirit. We've got here and now, and this is a number 32. We've got the past and the future. The door is open, okay? There is a gift coming in for you here and now. Changes are on the on the menu. It's a number 32, which equals a five. So there's an imbalance, but there's changes coming through. As you can see, there is a window of opportunity here. The window is open. The door is here for you. It's coming in. This is a gift for you. Um, and it's saying you should be here and now, not in the future, not in the past. Let's take the Romance Angels and see what's going on in love. What I feel is that the King of Swords is, for those of you that are dealing with a narcissistic long-term uh, person, commitment, um, relationship, a narcissistic, a toxic connection, um, this could be someone that was very cutting, as I said, very downgrading, very egocentrical um, and quite narcissistic, trying to keep you um, under their thumb. That's why you've got the challenge of the Five of Swords. But on another note, King of Swords, remember, I said that you may have met someone. Maybe someone has entered your life. This is probably someone that you already know because he's in the distant past position. He's someone that you already know. Could be someone that's quite intelligent. And remember that Aquarius has got a very intelligent mind, whether they use it for good or for bad. Um, depending on what else they've got in their chart. So whether it's an Aquarian, a Gemini, or a Libra, or another sign, doesn't matter. The traits are what are important. This is what I'm telling you. So if you're feeling not up to, because this person can be quite intelligent, don't look down on yourself. Don't carry that those self-worth issues uh, from the past. Leave them in the past. You are good enough, and in the here and now, I see blessings coming through. Let's see. We've got love yourself first, you see. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So what you need to do is turn your back on this toxic connection. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is what is in your future. This is what's coming through for you. And we've got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Wow, so it's a back and forth energy. What's at the bottom of the deck? Unrequited love. You see that? Dear Pisces, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Let's take another card on that separation. 
and we've got trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, which is saying that something else is coming through for you. You've got the um, indication here with the honeymoon card. This could say that whilst on holiday, whilst traveling over water, whilst being close to the water, um, you could be um, having some special moment. And I feel that this, as I said, is someone that you already know. And this could be someone that's bringing a lot of emotion, a lot of love with them. Even though here, this could be saying the profession that this person um, does, what kind of a profession he's in. That's why he's looking so... Remember that the King of Swords usually dresses in a suit, someone that's all about business, right? We do have unrequited love here, so there's no point in investing any more time, effort and and heart in this connection. I think that you need to be truthful with yourself. This was a lesson that you had to go through. Let's take more cards. Let's see what else is going on. Let's take that Nine of Pentacles. And we've got the Seven of Swords, you see. There's the stealth, there's the sneakiness. Uh, what this is saying, dear Pisces, is that there is lack of trust in this connection. There is lack of trust. You need to trust your intuition and go with it. Okay, you're tearing yourself up for it without a reason. You need to trust your higher self and know that, yes, this person is double timing you. They're two timing, okay, because they could even have a sex addiction. Let's have a look at that. Five of Swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles. There is a third person in the picture. There is a third person here in the picture. Yeah. And this could be happening around work. Let's have a look at the King of Swords. And we've got the Eight of Wands. This person could be someone that works um, on social media. This could be someone who travels for work. But this could also be someone who is um, sending you know, sending and receiving messages. Remember that wands are passion, their desire. This could be someone that is doing the dirty on you through social media. So Seven of Swords says be smart. If you need the proof, open your eyes. You've got the Page of Swords here. Check out and see what's going on. Do your detective work if you need to, if you need the proof. Let's have a look at that Four of Cups in the recent past. And we've got Seven of Cups, so things are up in the air. There's illusion, there's confusion here. We've got Eleven Cups, Eleven is karmic. Let's have a look at that Ten of Cups, what's that all about? And we've got the Four of Swords. And this says to me that you already know, you already have the knowledge. Four of Swords is someone is in action. It's someone not not investing, not putting more work in this uh, ending because there has been an ending. The Four of Swords comes after the three. The three is a heartbreak. It's a disappointment. It's probably you kicking yourself for having invested so much of yourself in this connection. And this may also have this may also have uh, challenged your health because the four of swords can mean health issues. Someone not feeling that well, not be feeling themselves. But the four of swords is also someone who's put in a lot of effort, and they need to catch themselves, catch up with themselves, to stop burning the candle at both ends, stop running and trying to catch your tail. Stop sacrificing, dear Pisces. Remember that the Four of Swords is also a card of meditation. This You are searching, your soul searching. Um, you're looking for your truth. 
as there's been many, many challenges and upheaval for you. Let's see what this is in the near future. And we've got the Two of Cups. Your sacrifices will pay off. Two of Cups is that connection coming through. What I see in this card is how closely and how clearly they look at each other in the eyes. There can be no lies here in this connection. So trust is of the utmost importance, dear Pisces. So the advice is do not take your distrust with you in this new connection that's coming through for you. Let's have a look at the Page of Swords. Some of you could be expecting a message, um, waiting on a message as well from someone to do with your past. I feel as though you've already practically emotionally checked out. You're trying to heal, find yourself, okay, getting ready for something new to begin. You, you already know. You know that this is happening here. Let's have a look at this page of swords. The Hermit, very similar, very, very similar to the Page of Swords. Remember that this is someone that's gone through um, many stages. They've become the Hermit. You've been looking for the information, soul searching, as I said earlier. You're one step before that Wheel of Fortune, which is changes, faded changes coming in for you. And the Hermit can also be a detective. Let's have a look at the devil. And we've got the strength card, which is a card of courage. It is a card of patience and knowing that you are powerful, that you can manage any situation. Dear Pisces, if you have gotten yourself stuck in any sort of addictions, you've got the power to overcome that. Okay, as long as you're connected to spirit, ask spirit for help. Um, take time out, heal yourself. Um, it looks as though you're off kilter. You're off kilter. This person here has made you uh, come to an imbalance and to an awakening that you're, you're on the wrong path. You're on the wrong path, dear Pisces. Let's have a look. What's that page of pentacles? And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. It is in the hopes and fears. But the fact that the card is here, yes, the message comes through, the knowledge comes through that fate is here. Changes are just around the corner for you. Let's have a look at that Queen of Wands. Wow, we've got the Nine of Wands, dear Pisces. Look at the heaviness. This person is holding the wand and they're down on their knees, which means they're, you've gone through a lot. You're at the point of, I don't know if I can do this. I feel that there will be a higher power will that will bring you in the energy to endure this. Some of you do have strong Leo in your charts. You hold the tenth wand here. You can create. You can create something which will be yours. And what I mean by that is that you're holding that 10th wand. You can put the finish to this burden. You can finish this burden through, through your own power, through using any fire that you've got within you to make it to the finish line. Making it to the finish line and knowing that luck is on your side. Remember that the Queen of... Queen of Wands is also the lucky queen. Now, Pisces, you are water, so you usually wait. It's time for you to take action. Remember also that um, Mars is retrograding, so it's giving us a chance to, uh, to work on things. Mars is retrograding in your second house, your second house, which is Aries for you, and Aries is the warrior. Aries is the warrior. Aries is the god of war. It's Mars, right? Um, so therefore, second house is values, self-worth. It's your physical body. Yes, you may feel tired the next couple of months. Um, whatever you're building on, whatever you're trying to attract, to complete, to fix, um, do it. 
slowly and steadily this is the chance we've got a window of opportunity and know that in a couple of months it will be um, so much easier um, so don't fight this when the door is closed know that it's closed you need to surrender just like with the hanging man okay and we've also got the nine of cups which once you close the door on this heaviness and be in the here and now, there is a chance here for a wish fulfillment. And the way that he's holding up that cup, it's as though he's saying cheers. I do hope, because there is someone out there that is addicted to alcohol, okay? I do hope that this is not your means of escapism, more so a wish card. If you need uh, help, if you need um, help from the professionals, seek help from the professionals. It's the only way to overcome this. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we've got the Six of Wands, which says you can be successful. Yes, you can. Wow. Now, where your money is concerned, hmm, where your money is concerned, it looks as though you've, uh, you're working hard, but you're in a, it's as though you're, you're working and putting in the effort, but not getting anywhere. Remember that Mars is in your money house now. So it's a time to redirect the energies, work behind the scenes, whatever you do for work. Okay. You could be someone that's very spiritual. It's as though you're um, being challenged by Capricorn, um, by Saturn. It's all about timing. And um, Saturn is in your wish house. It's in your house of wishes. Know that Jupiter has now turned direct. So anything to do with your wishes, money coming through after career, things will start to move end of September, early October. So the blessings will come in there. Just keep Keep the faith, keep trusting in your higher power, in your own power. You can do this, okay? Remember also that the Six of Wands is a card of recognition and you've got the Ace of Wands here. So where, where creativity is concerned, you've got it. You've got it, it's just a matter of timing. And we've got the Three of Cups here. So at some point um, professionally, you got to a point of celebration. I think it's got to do with the lockdown. Um, and you've got a new cycle. You've started to create something new, something new for yourself, which can you can take it to the finish line. And remember that the Queen of Wands could be you showing up as you in your creative endeavors. Remember that Leo is also what we create, what we bring to the world. So... Let's take a couple of my handwritten love cards. And as I said, I will be extending this reading where I'll be taking more of these cards as well, the ones I'm shuffling now, as well as, as, well as other cards from Spirit. Let's see what, how love is affecting you mid-September. We have We Are So Different and I don't know if this could ever work out. I don't know what to do. So you feel quite lost. You are so hot, I want you, you drive me crazy. There's your answer. I did say, Pisces, that you could be connected to someone that's only looking at the physical side of things, not someone that's ready to commit to you and give you those 10 cups. And we've got a 13 here, so Scorpio means death, transformation, okay? Now also, the whatever transformation is going on for you in your 11th house, you, because the 11th house is the natural house of Aquarius, it's also the house of groups and associations. Um, but for you, it's also groups and associations around work, around governmental agencies. That's where your new person could be coming from. Remember that this person looks very professional, so this could be your new person as well coming through. Not the person that's only attracted to you on a physical level. Not that. I don't mean that. I mean the new person. So 
I will leave it there. I will extend this reading. I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting, dear Pisces. Thank you so much for your support and all that you do. For the rest of you, I will be seeing you on the extended reading. Thank you so much to all of you.